One more year to go. Hi ho, the merry o. One more year to go. Just about that, Johnny. Just about that. That hardly seems possible. You're a senior already. Oh, just one more year. Then I'll be out in that cold, cruel world. What are you going to do to keep from working when you finally graduate? Oh, I'll think of something. Is that shirt you asked me to iron for you, honey? Oh, thanks, Mom. Nobody can iron a shirt collar like you, Mom. <laughs> oh, Johnny, not those awful ties. No, Mom, I have a reputation to uphold. You think that jalopy of yours is going to get you all the way to Brockmore? Sir, I resent that. Through rain, sleet, or snow, Lizzie gets through. Oh, dear old Brockmore, here we come, right back where we started from. Hey, Johnny. Dear. How's your boy? Fine. How's yourself? How's, Fine. How's vacation? Just swell. How was yours? Good. Swell. Thanks. Have you seen Chuck around? Yeah, last time I saw him, he was over at North Hall talking to a cute freshman. That's my boy. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, so well. Thanks, Danny. Dick. Bye. Chuck! Chuck, when did you get in? This morning. Oh, and uh, look what we got already. We've got a note from the dean. Yeah, he wants to see us. Well, I, I didn't expect to be called to the dean's office so early in the season. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll help you carry these over to the room. Just a minute. This way. <laughs> well, how? How do you... Oh, hello, boys. Come in. Hello, Dean. Let's see you. Let's see you. How are you, sir? Won't you sit down? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, we didn't expect to be called in so soon, Dean. No, no, I suppose not. There's something I want to talk to you about. As you know, the school is crowded this year, so I'd like to have you share your room with another student. Sure. Who is he? His name is Kyoki Sugiyama. Japanese? Yes, he's a scholarship student. But, Dean, why pick on us? Couldn't this, this fellow, couldn't he room with somebody else? Believe me, I gave a lot of thought as to where to put Kyoki. Knowing that you both are not only good students, but also interested in various religious activities, I decided to ask you to take Kiyoki in and make him feel at home. In this manner, you'll be making your contribution toward international understanding. You see, there's a great responsibility involved in having a foreign student attend a Christian university such as ours. The ideas and impressions that he gets may help to bridge the differences that bring about wars. Was this, this Japanese, was, was he in the war? The war? Why, no. No, he was just a child then. Why not try it for a week or two? OK, we'll, we'll try it for a while. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Take it easy, will you? Look, me rooming with a jack. I know how you feel, but... Well, you can't blame this Kiyoki for what happened to your brother. Yeah, I know. Well, come on, let's go and meet the little ambassador. Chuck, would you mind bunking in the middle? Well, hey, I got this bed made up already. Oh, sure. 
Uh, hello. Hello. Are you Mr. Gordon and Mr. Allen? <laughs> You're on the beam, Keoki. Come on in. I'm Chuck Allen. Oh, you know my name. Well, sure. The dean told us all about you. Come on in. You can put your things here. Uh, this is your bed and your dresser. Uh, oh, and this is Johnny Gordon. Pleased to meet you, Johnny. How are you? I feel very fortunate moving in here. The dean spoke very highly of you both. Oh, well, the dean says nice things about everybody first day. Um, you speak English pretty well. Have you been over here very long? Not very long, but I attended an American mission school in Japan. Oh. Hey, who's that? My sister. Gee, isn't she pretty? Hey, Johnny, look at this. Your family, Johnny? Yes. Oh, you have a brother. He was my brother. Was? He was murdered in a Jap prison camp. Come on, Kiyoki, uh, you can unpack later. I want to introduce you to some of the guys. See you later, Johnny. This is the office of the Dean of Men and the office of the Dean of Women. Oh, and here's something I want you to see. This is called Good Luck Bench. If you touch it on the way to an exam, you're supposed to have good luck. If you've studied. I may need it. Hiya, Chuck. <laughs> Hi, Dick. Dick, uh, this is Kiyoki Suga Sugiyama. Uh, Sugi uh, Sugi Sugiyama, Dick Loy. Sugi's my new roommate. New roommate? What happened to Johnny? Oh, he's still with us. Dick's the star pitcher on our baseball team. Baseball's my favorite sport. You know baseball? I've followed it since I was a boy. I've been rooting for the New York Yankees in all their games. You uh, play it? Yes, yeah, second base. And last year, my batting average was 325. 325? <laughs> well, I've got to admit, our pitchers are very bad. I doubt if our best ones can even play on one of your high school teams. Well, are you coming out for the team? If my studies permit. Oh, don't let a little thing like uh, studies interfere with baseball. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, huh? Glad to have met you, Mr. Lloyd. Name's Dick. See you again, huh? Ah, it takes a great guy. Everybody I've met's a great guy. Well, I've got to go see about my schedule. Want me to come along with you? No, you go ahead and take care of what you have to do. But thanks just the same. What do you know? Our new roommate's a baseball player. So what? He plays second base and he bats 325. What do you think about that? And you should hear him rattle it off. He sounds like a walking baseball encyclopedia. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. Johnny, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Look, Johnny, why don't you give him a break? I told the dean he could stay with us, didn't I? Now, look, Johnny, you... Now, it's time for Vespers. Come on, let's go. Well, let's start the semester out right. Come on. Okay. Anything will be better than being here when he gets back. Father, we ask for thy continued blessings as we start the new semester. In Jesus' name, amen. We're glad to see more of our new students in our Vesper service. And we hope that you will find in these services the same inspiration that we have found. Our programs are planned by students and for students. Of course, we have excellent cooperation from our faculty, and they help us whenever we need them. Dearest mother and dad, French is still Greek to me. I'm afraid it's going to be my weak subject again this semester. I didn't tell you in my other letters, but Chuck and I have a new roommate named Kyoki Sugiyama, a student from Japan. The Japanese? What's going on at that school? No, Hank, let's read the rest of the letter. The dean asked us to room with Kyoki. I find it rather strange, but I'm trying to make the best of it. It's an outrage. 
The dean's gonna hear from me. No, Henry, there's no point in being so excited. No point. Our son Jimmy dies in a Japanese prison camp. Now the school wants our other boy to live with one of them. I'm not gonna stand for it. Henry, stop being so bitter about it. It's been a long time ago. Nothing can bring Jimmy back again. Long distance, please. Look what you're doing to yourself. I want to place a call to Dean Maxwell at Bruckmore University. Hey, where have you been? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. The dean stopped me. He wants to see you at 9 tomorrow morning. Me? What for? He didn't say. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I need a handkerchief. You don't mind, do you? Well, let's not waste any more time. We'll be late. Come on. Today, we're privileged to hear from a student whose background and whose acceptance of Christ should be an inspiration to all of us. So I want you to meet Kiyoki Sugiyama. Many of you have asked me how I happen to be here and how I happen to be a Christian. That is what I want to tell you about today. I am here to learn all I can so I can go back to my own people, to serve God and to bring the gospel to them. I never heard of Jesus Christ until after the war. We had lost the war and were fearful of every American soldier we saw. One night I threw a rock at a passing soldier. He ran after me and he caught me. His head was bleeding and I was afraid of the beating which I felt sure was coming. Much to my surprise, this foreigner spoke to me in my own language. And among other things, he said he forgave me. I thought he was crazy. He asked me to come with him to the mission school. I was afraid to disobey him, so I went. There I heard about Jesus Christ for the first time. There I started to learn about our Savior, who taught that men should love each other. And that is why I am here today. You see, that soldier, a chaplain, had gone to school here at Buckmore University. And so I'm here too, majoring in religion. Then I will enter seminary. And after that, I shall go back and in my small way, help bring to my people the freedom and joy of knowing Christ as their savior as I know him. You know, Dean, I, I feel very ashamed after what I heard at Vespers last night. It seems so strange that a, a Japanese of all people should be the one to remind me that Christianity teaches love and, and not hate. About my dad's telephone call, I, I wonder if we could leave it just as it is for a while. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Dean. Hi, Kiyoki. Hi, Johnny. You seen Chuck around? No, I haven't. Study? Oh, I was just beginning my devotional. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Not at all. I want to tell you I appreciate what you said at Vespers last night. Thanks. Kiyoki, could, could I speak to you a minute, please? Sure, Johnny, of course. I haven't been too friendly towards you, and... Well, I thought I had good reasons for it. I understand, Johnny. I know how you feel. How could you? You, you can't. I think I can, Johnny. You see, my father didn't come back from the Philippines. He, too, died a horrible death. And I, too, at one time had hatred in my heart. Sometimes life's conflicts makes our beliefs difficult to follow, Johnny. But whenever we have such troubles, God always has a solution. I'm sorry I've been such a foul ball. Forget it, Johnny. Well, it's getting late, and I know you'd like to get on with your devotions. Would you like to join me? I'd like to very much. I've got it marked right here. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. 
Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. We went to the state student meeting last weekend, but I don't think I'll leave the campus again until the Christmas holidays, which are just around the corner. That's right. You'll be home in about three weeks, won't you? Mm-hmm. And speaking of Christmas, how's chances of me bringing my roommate home for the holidays? Of course he can. It'll be nice to have Chuck. We'll pack early and leave immediately after the last exam. And will it feel good to be home again? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it will. <laughs> Maybe that's them now. Hello, yes. Johnny. Merry Christmas. Johnny. I'm oh. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, this is uh, Kiyoki Sugiyama, my roommate. Kiyoki, this is my mom and dad. I'm happy to know you, Kiyoki. The pleasure is all mine, Mrs. Gordon. I'm very happy to meet you, sir. How do you do? Gee, look at that tree. Well, this is beautiful. Oh, Mom, you really outdid yourself. Hey, where are the presents for? It's wonderful, really wonderful. <laughs> and this is for you, Mr. Oh, Gordon. Oh, how nice. Put it under the tree. How about something to eat, Mom? I'm hungry. Oh, certainly. You boys must be hungry. Why don't you take Kiyoki upstairs and show him where to put his things? OK, come on, Kiyoki. We'll be down in a minute, Mom. Henry, you've just got to be nice to that boy. I'll do my best, but I won't promise anything. Why, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Kiyoki. Where did you get it? My mother sent it to me from Japan. It was made by a very good friend of mine. Oh, Henry, look, isn't it lovely? Yes, it is nice. What is it, a scene from Japan? No, it's a landscape from the Mariana Islands. The Marianas. What's the matter with Dad, Mom? It's... it's your brother. I'd better go talk to him. Pardon me, Mrs. Gordon, but may I speak to him alone? Well, but don't you think... I'd like to try. Mr. Gordon, may I speak with you a moment? What is it to say? I know how you feel more than you realize. You lost a son, and I lost a father. You know, Mr. Gordon, it might have been the other way around. Japan might have won the war. But I thank God that we didn't. When the announcements came over the radio that the war was over, we shouted for joy. We thought your armies had surrendered. But we soon found out that we had not only lost the war, but everything else as well. We had no hope, no religion, nothing. Why are you telling me all this? Because you think that you have lost something. And you have. I know that nothing I can say can bring back your son. But he and other men like him made it possible for more of my people to be taught about Jesus. And that's why I'm here today, to learn more about Christ. Mr. Gordon, just a few years ago, your son and my father, they were fighting each other and hating each other, although they had never met. And yet today, your son and I are friends, because we both love Christ. 
don't you see? I want to be your friend, too. I don't know what you said to Dad, Kiyoki, but you sure worked a miracle. I only told him what was in my heart and what Christ has meant to me. Yeah, I know, but for a guy who's been a Christian only for such a short time. It isn't how long one has known Christ, but how deeply one believes in him and loves him. Sure. Of course you're right. Well, what do you say we hit the sack, huh? It's your turn to leave tonight. Our Father in heaven, we thank thee for all thy blessings, especially for the gift of thy Son. Let us be thy messengers to lives without love. Let thy love dwell in our hearts. Let thy light so shine in our souls that others may see the way. Make our wills keen and eager to spread the gospel to the millions who do not know Christ as their Savior. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. It's been wonderful having you boys here for Christmas. I don't know how to thank you for inviting me over, Mrs. Gordon. Oh, it's a pleasure. And thank you, Mr. Gordon. You must come again. Hey, what about me? I'm leaving, too. It's a good thing you are. You around the house, I can't keep a thing in the icebox. <laughs> it was nice having you home again, son. By the way, have you figured out what kind of loafing you're going to do after you graduate? That is, if you graduate. I think I'll get by. <laughs> well, come on. Bye, Dad. Bye. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, honey. Bye, son. You're sure that jalopy will make it all the way back to Bruckmore? Sir, I resent that. Through rain, sleet, or snow, Lizzie gets through. Goodbye, <laughs> Mrs. Gargan. Come Thank on. Thank you. Bye. Well, look, we're here we go. Right back where we started from. <laughs> Mom and Dad send their best regards, Keo. Well, thanks. Are they well? Yeah, sure. Dad still wants to know what I'm going to do after I graduate. Have you made up your mind about that yet? Keo, what would you say if I... if I told you I intend to go to Japan with you? To Japan? With me? During the last few months, I've... I've come to the conclusion that God wants me to be a missionary, too. That's wonderful, Johnny. I first began thinking about it when you and I heard that missionary speak last January. And then the many talks we've had with a pastor at the church sort of helped me make up my mind. But I think you've been the main deciding factor. You see, I feel that God has sent you to show me his will for my life. Still a little mixed up, but I think it'll work out all right. I'm sure it will, Johnny. I'm sure it will. And the way it stacks up now, it looks like I'll be spending another three years in school. Another three years? Why? There's something I've been wanting to tell you for several months, but I wanted to be sure. I feel that God has called me to be a missionary. And so I'm going to the seminary, and then maybe to Japan with Kiyoki, or to some other mission field. I hope you'll feel the way I do, for I can't think of dedicating my life to anything more important than taking the gospel to the millions who've never heard of Jesus Christ. It almost takes my breath away. But when you think of it, dear, I think we should be glad that Johnny's chosen this way to spend his life. Why Japan? There must be plenty of missionary work he can do right here, isn't there? If God wants him to do that, should we stand in his way?
I guess my announcement about becoming a missionary didn't set too well with Dad. Why, doesn't he approve? Well, he thinks my intentions are commendable enough, but he says I ought to think it over. I guess it was sort of a shock to him when he found out I wouldn't follow him in the family business back home. Johnny, are you sure that God has called you to become a missionary? There are many other ways of serving, you know. Yes, I know, Keo, but... Well, I think I'm pretty sure. That's not enough, Johnny. You've got to be sure. Beyond any shadow of a doubt. Some more dessert, son? No, thanks, Mom. How did you leave Kiyoki? Oh, fine. Fine, he's gonna go to summer school so he can finish up sooner. Oh. He may come down for a weekend if it's okay. Well, of course. You still planning on going to the seminary, son? Yes, Dad. I, I feel the Lord has called me, and well, I know I'll never be happy doing anything else. We were sort of expecting to hear you say that. I'm sorry, Dad. No need to be, son. We always wanted you to be here with us, especially since Jimmy died. But we've changed our minds now. I'm sorry about my attitude the past few years, son. I've hated where I should have loved and forgiven. Now that you've made your decision, and this is what you want to do, we're going to help you do it. I can't tell you what it means to me, Dad, to have you feel this way about it. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but we'll work it out with God's help. And because there are others like you who will be going out to Japan and other needy mission fields, we're going to be adding a little extra to our church offerings each week to help pay their way. I read a passage in the Bible the other day. I'd like to read again. Will you hand it to me, please? For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. 